Are you ready for Friday night prison? Oh, we got to get them a little caffeine. It's just getting started, though. Here it is, week seven of the Friday Night Frenzy, sponsored by Ralphie Sports Eater and Pub. I'm Eric Hubbard. That was the Maumee High School Band. Andre Savage will join them shortly. But first, the Whitmer Panthers were supposed to be here. The Finley Trojans shocking everyone not in Hancock County. But tonight, the battle of unbeaten 6 0 Whitmer at 6 0 Finley, our Friday Night Frenzy game of the week. Whitmer fourth in Division One. Finley is 11th heading into this one. Second quarter. Whitmer down three, but Jody Webb doing what he does best turns on the Jets. Panthers up 14 9 at half. Whitmer's Tyler Smith, the quarterback, showing he could be pretty good on the ground, too. Little play action. Bye bye. 50 yards for a touchdown. Smith, Webb, and Leroy Alexander combined for over 400 yards on the ground. Finley trying to get something going, trying to mount a comeback. Paul Cassiano to Jimmy Orwick. We saw this thing go for a touchdown against St. Francis last week. Orwick knifing his way through, but eventually brought down. It would set up a touchdown from Cassiano to Dylan Blunk, but it is not enough. The Whitmer Panthers stay perfect, winning 49 to 23. I'd say that I'm very proud of our kids who came on the road. Hostile environment. You know, we were down early, some negative things happened, but we kept battling back. Our kids play hard, mentally tough, physically tough. I love them. St. John's trying to stay a game back, playing at Clay. Brogan Robach here gunning to Jake Wheeler. Oh, he dragged the foot. Yes! 7 0 Titans on top. St. John's next possession as quickly. Anthony Ramirez, nice juggling interception. The Eagles looking for an upset. Yes! Get excited! Two plays later. Joe Roby intercepts Brett Jordan. 56 yards later, he's in for the score. Titans win it. 35 14. St. Francis at Fremont Ross. What up, dude? Third quarter we go. Tyler Wolf keeps it himself and spins in for the touchdown. 21 0 Ross. Later, off a of St. Francis punt. We show it to you here. A line drive to Drew Starks. Starks weaving, turning on the Jets, avoiding his own man. He's got the sideline clear and an escort up front. Makes it through and down eventually to the one yard line. Next play, though. Jabi Lather finishes it off. Ross shut out St. Francis 35 to nothing. Lima Sr. playing at Central Catholic. What? Very excited. First play of the second quarter. Irish up 14 zip. Amir Edwards, that's a touchdown. All he does is score touchdowns. Irish up 21. Still second quarter. Central on their own 39 yard line. Paul Moses oh, parts the waters. And he's into the promised land. 66 yards for the score. Irish dominate Lima Senior, 51 to 6. All right, we move on with Southview beating Maumee and Perrysburg in the last two weeks. They put themselves at the top of the Northern Lakes League in position to win their fifth straight title. Southview at Bowling Green tonight. A lot of pink, breast cancer awareness. We like that from our students. End of the first half. Andrew Dennis tosses. Oh, look at the catch right here. Michael Sears hangs up. Goes through two sets of hands. 21 17. Could the Bobcats pull the upset? But the Cougars don't sit on Austin Valdez and JQ Bowers. Ball by 46 yards for the score. Very quickly. 11 seconds left in the half. In the third, Bobcats very deep in the no territory. Then almost Jay Fisher recovers. A few plays later, Fisher pounds it in. Cougars win 48 17, staying perfect in the NLL. Perrysburg at Northview. They lost to Southview last week. Steve Slocum to Austin Bishop. Bishop making his way in. 31 14. Game over, right? Not necessarily. Fourth quarter, 31 20. Slocum stripped by Drew Gross, who does his best on BB. It's a touchback. Northview ball. Cat's still in it. Brandon Hall flicks it to Mark Burnsdorf. He burns into the end zone. It's a three point game. The Snuggies are loving it. But the Jackets drive right down and score. Chris Brown bulldozing his way into the end zone. Jackets hang on for a 38-28 win. 
Napoleon at Anthony Wayne. Interesting matchup here. First quarter, no score. Josh Linke completes to Jacob Chipka. Chipka hit hard and fumbles. Eventually, Wildcats Jordan Miles would recover Napoleon Ball. Second quarter, same drive, fourth and six. Fourth and six. Jacob Plasman to Miles. Touchdown. Two point conversion. No good. But big fumble here in the third quarter. Napoleon's Plasman hit by Blake Albert. Dustin Mooseman recovers. Generals capitalize. Linky connects with Reed Allen. Yes, the Generals throwing the ball. Then after a Wildcat botch snap and a punt, Generals take advantage. Sam Bruno takes it in for five yards out. And then another touchdown. The Generals are throwing the ball and they win it 28 to 9. The dog fight in the first half, and we didn't think ourselves that we were running our stuff right. So we made adjustments in the second half, and you know, we came out, and that, that turnover was big, real big. Time to head over to the Ralphie's Bandstand. Andre Savage, host of Game Savvy Late Night, which you can watch right here after Saturday Night Live tomorrow. Dre standing by with the Maumee High School Band. Dre. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Always love the plug. But how about this? Let me welcome some people you like, Mr. Harbor. Panthers, hello. <laughs> They looked at me like, where is this really going? Here's where we're going to the highlights first. Business people, mom me at Springfield. Springfield homecoming queen Kylie Reese. And yes, she is looking great tonight, of course. First quarter action, mom meets John Grashel chasing Blake Rudolph. Rudolph throws, and give me these, says Jake Snyder. He comes up with the pick. Panther quarterback can play defense, too. Touchdown, Panthers, 7-0. Springfield's offense just cannot get on track tonight, people. Lucas Junga says, get on the ground. He gets the sack. Our guests, the Panthers, snap out for Mr. Harbor on the Devils. They pitch the shutout, 43-0. Now, real quick, to the band stay. Look, they're ready to play, everybody. No, guys, we're not playing. Ma'am, what is your name? Nikki Samansky. Well, Ms. Samansky, I just wanted to tell you thank you for helping me with that name. Oh, you're so welcome. Well, yes, when we come back, we're going to do something. You guys get ready to anything can happen. Mr. Harbor, you know how we do. Dre, I just want you to spell it. That's all I'm saying. All right, we're up to our first time out. When we come back, we head to Hamler, Genoa, Millbury, plus check out the city lights and more. But first, back to the Ralphie's Bandstand and the Maumee High School Band.